Okay, bye monkey, love you. Bye. Come on, in you get. Good girl. Good girls and boy. Welcome back for another day. Today, like I said before, is the last home game of the season for Palace. And it's the last time that my dad and me will be going to the ground in our place where we've had our season tickets for several years. Uh, so I'm feeling a bit emotional today about it. Oh, it's a beautiful day for the last game of the season. If you're not into football, then this video may not be for you. And I'm sorry, I apologize for that. But for me, football is a big part of my life. It has been for many years now. And it's something that I go to watch regularly with my dad. We've been going now for the past, I don't even know how many years. <laughs> as long as I can remember and we've had season tickets in a certain area of the ground the lower Holmesdale and we have decided to give our season tickets up at the end of this season so today is a bit of an emotional one for me it's going to be the last home game here in our we, we say seats but we don't sit there no one ever sits in the lower Holmesdale but the last game in our seats where we've had season tickets. I'm feeling a little bit sad about it. There's a few reasons why we're not renewing the season tickets for next year. It's very expensive and to pay hundreds of pounds to go and see your football club play um, is just not something really that we can justify at the moment, especially when um, we're very busy. At the moment, it's only my dad and me who are able to go to games. Before it used to be like my sisters would go if I was working and I couldn't go or other people would go so it wasn't really like we were wasting money but now we're not managing to get to all the games um, my dad's got um, some things on business wise that mean that he can't go I'm often working clinically on the weekends which as much as I try and request my shifts off for the games it's really difficult to get them off and to get to them so there's a few reasons financial finding the time also it does take up a whole day for us going to the football um, we don't live particularly close we live about an hour an hour and a half away um, but there's always traffic so we have to drive there and um, find parking parking price has now gone up get to the grounds obviously watch the match um, and then get back that often takes um, an hour or two hours depending on traffic so there's just a few things and we just feel like <sighs> life has just moved on a little bit it's not really the priority at the moment to get to football matches it's hot today I need to just open the window Whew. I've got a lot of memories in this stand I was a crystal um, while we had these season tickets here so I used to do my cheerleading on the pitch dance at the halftime dance and then jump back in into the stand and watch the rest of the game with my dad obviously we've been going here for years so there's just so many memories so it's gonna be quite an emotional day I think but I thought I would take you along with me and show you what we get up to there I'm at my parents now my dad has his shirt on ready and it is a signed shirt by Zaha and Kabai, Johan Kabai. Let's see your shirt. Oh, the background's very messy. Stand over here, please. Yeah, very nice. Okay. And what season was this shirt from? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> There's been too many. Do you know how long we've had the season tickets here for? Or how long we've been in the Holmesdale all together? Because we were sitting at a different bit, weren't we? I don't know. So many years. Because we moved in the Holmesdale, didn't we? Yeah, because we were originally we in a different another. part of the lower Holmesdale, then moved to yeah. a different bit. But before that, we were in the Arthur Wake, so... Years. A lot of years, yeah. Oh. Right, I need to go and pick a shirt now because now I'm debating the one that I've chosen. I could wear the same white one as you or a signed one by Zaha as well because mm. this is likely his last game with us, isn't it? Yeah. He won't be playing. Record what? Should we do it because I should know what year it was. Oh, well, <laughs> look it up and then tell me. Yeah, and we film it. Right, let me go and find which one I'm going to wear. Even though I've moved out of this house and have my own house, I still keep my clothes in a wardrobe in this house. I've got a few signed ones. Let's take them out and see. Currently I'm wearing this one, but we do have, what have I got signed? Oh, coat hanger's so annoying. Oh, that's not a signed one. We'll just leave that one to one side. <laughs> I don't know how that got in there. Oh, this is a special one. And this is the one I wore to the game when we got promoted to the Premier League. So maybe, maybe I'll wear that one actually. I can't wear it very much anymore because 
all of the things peel, the sponsorship logos, so I can't really wear that one very often, but I suppose it's a 10 year anniversary of us being promoted, so maybe I'll wear that one, because that's what I wore when we got promoted. I have this one, which says Zaha on the back, and he has signed. Although he did make a little mess up here with his pen at the time, a bit annoying. This is a very nice one. Is this one signed? Oh yeah, I've got this one, which is signed by Zaha and Julian Speroni, who used to be our goalkeeper for many years. They're my most special palace tops. The only thing is, once you wear one, wearing one of the ones that's been signed, it's really hard to wash because you don't like to put it through the washing machine after because obviously then the signature might come off. I don't want them to get like dirty and stuff. Let me see if I can find my white one. I have found my white one, the same as my dad's, but I've also found the top from the season when we got promoted. And I think I'm gonna go for this. This is a very, very special, um, football shirt for me. This was what we wore the year that we got promoted into the premiership 10 years ago. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Maybe I can bring this one with me in case. Okay, I have two options. You can help me choose. Yeah. I've gone for this flag. Yeah, flag. Because, flag. I've gone for this scarf. Yeah. <laughs> because you can clearly see it says Crystal Palace one side and then Eagles the other That's side. Good, yeah. The same white shirt as you, or because it was 10 years ago that we got promoted, oh, I've got good. the shirt from that season. Oh, that's good, yeah. So I think I might wear that. Yeah. But I do like the white. Maybe we, sh maybe we should be matching. It's hot. It is hot. Okay, we'll be matching. Our last game together, where we sit. Yes. Hopefully they're not the last ever though. Oh, it's hot. Well, guess what? We've gone for the same shirt and we still don't know what season it's from. Yeah, we from. do. Do we? When? Yeah. I think it's an away shirt from the 15, 16 season. Gosh, it's old. It's not that old, I've got plenty of other older ones. Yeah, I've got hundreds. That sounded very spoiled. Let's go. Do you want to do a quick score prediction? We're playing Nottingham Forest at home. 2-0, Palace. Woohoo! Yeah, I think 2-0 as well. Okay, let's go. We've arrived, we've parked the car up. We're just getting our stuff out of the car now. We're actually near a pub where we used to we used to always go for a drink before the game, but we haven't been in years. The two brewers, good pub. Good old pub. We've made quite good time. Oh, it's one minute past four. And it's a 4.30 kickoff. So now we're gonna to walk to the ground. Do a little video. Yeah. Walking up to the stadium. He should be on the home to the road. To see the palace agencies. What a biddy. Okay. Here we go. Oh no, my bag is stuck. Oh no. Oh, it didn't get me through because my bag got stuck. <laughs> Up we go. Oh.
two and a half months have been a real pleasure working with everyone in the club. try and look at the mural Mur mural yeah. that someone has painted painted of Zaha on the wall of a house it must be here that's where everyone's looking wow imagine having your face painted on a house sick that is pretty sick One last time walking down this hill. Although it's a little bit chaotic. Do we take a picture? Like to explain palace, like I can't explain it, like I'm getting I'm getting tearful. I just love palace like uh, you, you know I think are we? <laughs> We've been here for so long. Right, have a good evening. We've been there so long now that all the players are coming out. <laughs> oh, we never asked that lad his name. 25 year old guy. Yeah, leave your name below in the comments because we forgot to ask your name. Well, that's it. That's the end. That's the last game of the season done and the last time sitting in our seat. Well, we don't sit, but standing in our seats. <laughs> and the final score was... 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Oh, well, at least we but saw the right a goal. Number of goals. Yeah, the right number of goals, but at least we saw a goal before leaving our yep. seats. I wonder who will have them next season. But it's not goodbye. It's just it's see just you soon. Au revoir. Au revoir. Because hopefully we'll be able to go back next season. Go back for the old game or two. Time to head off. Yep. I am back from the game now. My dad has just dropped me off. A little bit emotional to know that we're not going to be going back to those seats ever again. We are in touch with a few people in the lower homestead who still have their season tickets. They said if there's a game that they can't make, then they will let us know so we could have their tickets. And we can obviously still buy tickets to go to the stadium as normal, but it's just very rare to be able to get tickets and sit in the lower homestead. And we've been going there for so long. I don't know, it just feels a bit weird. It's always a bit weird when you come to the end of the season because it marks another year passing it makes you feel a bit nostalgic and like you kind of look back and reflect on the year each time especially as well with it being like a 10 year anniversary of palace being promoted to the premiership it really is like wow so much has happened in those past 10 years but i feel very lucky to have been able to go for so long so that's it the end of an era feels really weird feels a bit sad <laughs> i just feel lucky for all the years that we have been able to go and all the memories that have been made but i was saying to my dad it's also something that we do to hang out together and it's quite nice because it meant that I was regularly getting to see my dad and spend time with him and I hope that just because we're not going to the games as much anymore doesn't mean that we won't still hang out as much. I do also want to say a really big thank you to my dad for all of the years that he has provided the season tickets for us because without him and his generosity buying the season tickets for so long we would never have got to go to so many games and spend so much time with him. I would love to say if you're a Palace fan then I'll see you next season but sadly well I don't know 
I'll still be going, I just won't be sitting in my usual seat. If you are a Palace fan watching and you have a season ticket and you're not going to any games, you're not able to make a game, please send me a message because clearly I would love to go. I did see um, when we were at the game a little uh, advert for, uh, it's like a Palace marathon I think they called it, which is in October, which I will have a look at applying to because I think that would be really good fun. It is still the bank holiday weekend. Tomorrow is bank holiday Monday don't really have any plans as such and I know that Zav is working. Later on in the week it's my mum and my sister's birthday so we're going to go for some afternoon tea but yeah tomorrow for the bank holiday I do not have work and I don't have any plans. I've got a few admin things I need to do, a few life admin bits. I probably need to edit some videos because otherwise I'm never going to get anything up but other than that it's just going to be chilling and resting. If you have watched to the end of this video then I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit about what it's like going to a palace game if you've never been to one before or any football match before. To anyone who's watched this I just hope that you've enjoyed it.